Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Welcome back to my channel. I'm back with a video and this video is going to be about how you can connect your Android phone to your MacBook and to your Linux machine. So if your laptop is running Linux, how you can connect your Android phone. And if your laptop has like Mac OS, how you can connect your Android phone to it. Uh, the best way to do it before I go into the app and I'll introduce you the app. The first thing that you need, make sure your Android phone should it should be in developer's mode. So how do you take your phone into developer's mode? Go to the settings of your mobile phone. Go all the way at the end. Go to about phone. And wherever you see that built number, if your phone is not in developer's mode, just simply click for like five times. Like for example, mine is already in developer's mode. Once you click, hit this for five times, your phone will be automatically in developer's mode. Where do you see this? The next step you need to do, go to the system of your Android phone and you will see this option of developer's mode. So once you see this option of developer's mode, just click on it. And the thing that needs to be uh, open is actually called USB debugging. USB debugging should be on like this. That's the only prerequisite that you need in order for you to use to actually connect your phone to your Mac OS, to your MacBook. Now, the second piece of hardware that you need is called SCRC Pi. As you can clearly see here on your screen, SCRC Pi, just simply Google this. And if you scroll down on the page, you will see that it's available for Linux, Windows, Mac OS. I'm just going to show you the easiest possible way you can do it. Uh, simply go to your terminal. Leave your terminal as is. The cool thing about Mac OS is actually a few good things about Linux uh, and a few good things about Windows are combined together in, in Mac OS. Uh, you will have your terminal like this. Uh, on this terminal, you need to, first of all, before you even type anything, like for example, sudo, port, install, anything, you need to make sure that your uh, Mac OS should have Mac ports installed. Mac port is sim simply, it's just like in your Linux machine, you have apt get for like Debian version, like you have sudo apt get something. Uh, for Mac, it's actually Mac ports. There's different way, but I like, I use Mac ports. So the first thing you need to do, just simply type this, copy this onto your terminal. This will actually install Xcode, uh, command line Xcode, not the entire Xcode. And then whatever the version of your Mac port, whatever the version of OS your MacBook is running, just click here and download that Mac port. Once you have everything installed, these are the only two things. So just simply copy this. I'm just going to show you anyhow. Well, anyhow. Go here and copy this on your MacBook and paste it as is and hit enter. All right. See my software command line are already installed. That's it. Everything is pre-installed. The next thing that you need to do, like for example, the OS that I'm running on this MacBook is I think is Big Sur. Uh, so just older MacBook, whatever the operating system that you're running, just simply it's going to be a DMG file. I'm just going to show you anyhow for like Ventura. Uh, it will download a file which will call Mac ports. Just install that file. Double click it and install it. That's all you need to do. Once you have everything installed like this, now SCRC Pi is very easy to install. Now you will simply go to your terminal again. Once you have your port installed, simply type sudo. And just like we normally do in your Linux PCs. Let me make this a little bit bigger. So just simply type sudo port install install. So port is basically like apt get sudo port install and just simply type scrc pi. That's all you need to do. Just hit enter then. It will ask for your password. I'm going to insert my password and it will start downloading it. It will take some time. Uh, mine is already downloaded, so I don't need to worry about anything. So it will take like about at least a couple of minutes to download this. And once you have downloaded this and your phone is already in a debugging mode, make sure your phone is connected. 
Now, the easiest possible way to do it is like this. Uh, now, you're going to go to your terminal, simply going to type SCRCPI. Once you type this, and hit enter. As soon as you hit enter, what you will see a message will pop up onto your screen, which says allow USB debugging. Just simply click yes, okay. Once you okay this, and then run this command again, scrcpy, and voila. Here we go. You have your phone. I think my cable has moved a little bit. Just simply do it again, and boom, here's your phone. So now you can easily see all of your application, all of your phones, and things like that. You can just simply go here, click it, control it with your mouse and, and, and keyboard and stuff like that. I'm controlling it. You can open an app. You can do whatever you want. So this is basically how you actually uh, mirror your screen, your Android screen, onto your MacBook. So I'm going to pause this video right now, and I'm going to show you exactly the same process on your Linux PC. So I'll come back to it. So now let me show you exactly the same process, how you can connect your mobile phone to your Linux PC. Uh, same thing, SCRCPy. So open up your terminal and simply type in sudo. Since this is Linux, simply type in sudo apt-get apt-get install scrcpy alrighty I think I forgot to put a hyphen there and yes uh, exactly the same thing we're gonna wait for it to compile and uh, make sure your phone is connected to your uh, laptop or to your PC we're gonna wait for it to finish compiling it and then uh, exactly the same process that we did for your mac os we're going to do exactly the same thing once you download your scrcpy and just simply typing it by sudo app get install scrcpy your phone should be connected and you will still get that uh, rsa message that uh, your laptop wants to communicate uh, wait for that message to go away and then you can just simply uh, mirror your phone onto your Linux. Um, I found this to be a very nice thing. For example, there are something that you just want to do it on your phone, but you want to actually do it side by side with the thing that you're working on your laptop. So this is a very important tool. It really helped me. Uh, that's why I'm sharing it with you guys. We're going to wait till for it to finish it. All right. Uh, now, in order for me to run it, I'm going to do exactly the same thing. SCRC PI. I'm going to hit enter. Now, a message should popping up. All righty, let's do it one more time. Insufficient permission. Let's do it one more time. Let me just unplug this and plug it again. Okay, now let's do it. SCRC Pi. And boom, as you can clearly see, this is my phone that I'm controlling it with my mouse. You can see it from here. I'm moving around with my mouse. You can look at different apps. You can look at cameras. I don't know. I can control camera. I can, I can look at different apps and things like that. So this is how you actually do it. Uh, so if you have any questions, you can exactly use the same tool for Windows as well. Uh, Windows itself uh, uh, is an easy process. You can just simply download the 
soften then click ok 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 and then you'll be able to mirror this so this is how you do it i hope you like the small tutorial on how to mirror your phone uh android phone in your linux pc and your mac os if you have any questions leave it in the comment section don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and thanks for watching